good morning to you all. Hi, I am Bonnie B. Hawkins. And I love, love, love writing poems. And today I'm setting out here on my beautiful balcony and I am writing poems. I find it very easy to write poems early in the morning before the grandchildren get up because as you can see, I'm a grandmother, but I'm also a great-grandmother as well, and of course a mother. <laughs> Love you all. And uh, today um, I'm writing, starting a new poem, and while I'm um, doing the new, um, um, the new poem, it's going to be mostly an audio poem, so um, hope you sit back and enjoy the uh, poem and may God bless you. Again, I am Bonnie B. Hawkins and I love, love, love writing poems. So as I uh, write this poem, uh, I want you to sit back and hear of a previous poem that I wrote. Well, praise God. It's me again, Bonnie B. Hawkins. And recently I wrote this poem as a poem of comfort for those who have lost loved ones. And I've titled this poem, Why Are There Tears? For I Am Still Here. And the poem reads like this. Why should you moan for I am still here? For little bits of me have not left you, my dear. For in every room there's memories we share. So there's no need to moan for I am still here. As I walk every morning and God gave me a task for he was preparing me for a place of eternal rest and for me to build memories while I was still there then he moved me to his home and his eternal care and when my time was up down here he called me on in to spend eternity in a place I've never been. But I'm excited to tell you I am so happy here in total comfort in my loving master's care. To reside in a place where there is no end to pass. For in every moment there is and never, never a last. But as for my earthly home, I was there for a while. And when he called me in, I left here with a smile. As for my permanent life in my new home, I'll forever spend for the days in this place there's never an end. For in this special place there's no ending in sight so you see, my soul was happy to leave and take his, his flight. But till, but still, little bits, I left there for you. Because there is more work there for you to do. So cherish every moment in the time that we shared. And please always remember 
bits of me are still there. For I'll always be watching over you, my dear. And I don't want you to spend another moment shedding a tear. So keep on doing and going on, for there is a test still here for you here. And continue sharing sh the moments for bits of me are there to share. And until one day when I hear him say, well done, we'll all have victory for the victory will have been won. Now, this concludes this poem that I wrote for prayers of comfort to loved ones that have, to family of loved ones that have gone on home. And again, the title of this poem was Why Are You why are there tears? For I am still here. Now, I'm thanking God for giving me inspiration to write the poem. And I love, 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 love writing poems. So, I really um, appreciate everybody. Uh, for their support and I'll continue to bring forth more poems as God give me inspiration and this uh, and a little commentary about this poem I have been reading um, recently more and more over and over John 14 and in that, in John, in St. John 14, in the Bible, Jesus said these words. In my Father's home, there are many rooms. If it was not so, I would have told you. He said, I'm going to go and I'm going to prepare, prepare a place for you. That where you are someday, I, someday, the where I am someday, you will also be. So I'm just glorified, overexcited that when this life has ended, saints, we got a new building. And it's a building not made of hands. It's eternal into heaven, into God's kingdom. So again, families, no matter where you are, you've got something to celebrate along the line. Because... The victory will be complete, completely won one day, and all of us are going to be in that eternal place where there be no end. No more death, no more sickness, no more diseases. We won't even have to go to the doctors. We won't have to go to someone, some who has legal problems. We won't have to go to lawyers. Some that have any, no matter what the problem is, Jesus Christ will be the only, only one. And we will live eternally with him in a place called heaven. And I'm just so super excited. And I'm not in no hurry to get there because God has a time and a plan for when, for my life while I'm here. And I thank God for, the, for giving us the victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And again, this concludes this poem. And I know God will add a blessing to the reading and inspiration of his word and this poem. Amen. Peace be with you all. Well, it's beautiful. It's God nature and he created this. And we, boy, we should be glad. Like the Psalmist said, we should be glad and rejoice in it. So again, uh, this is Bonnie Hawkins and I truly do love, love, love writing poems. So, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.